from Microsoft that we use it. Uh, just give you another 30 seconds. <coughs> So anything is possible with technology. You just have to tell us what you need. And that's that the partnership actually I have with Stuart Home as well. They give me the feedback and I build it. So it's a fantastic ecosystem that I hope that I can build with more schools here as well. Right? All right. For example, this one here. Every student on the table was given a toolbar and everybody can search on their own. What we have done, we have virtualized different browsers on the table and everybody can search and share and work together. Right? Or even imagine playing a game. Like a question pop up, which student will you know answer the question first? So there's a lot of things that you know we can actually ah look at this. I, I like this game, right? So you know you can do things like this. But probably how do we make it more educational, right? And that's for you to tell me, all right? So I'm just going to move on. And this is something like the table. And I'm not happy with this as well because this is project uh, projector based, it's a bit high. So we even came up with things like this, right? To make it into any shape and sizes that you like. And of course, even this, I'm working with kids. A preschool, right? A table. Because you know why? In Singapore, yeah, some schools telling me, you know, five years old they want to carry laptop. I said, no, I'm a parent, I will not allow that. Instead, why don't I expose them through a table? Right? So that's one way we can do. Finally, there's a lot more other systems like assessment system, often uh, summative, adaptive, which I'm not going to go through today. But most importantly, I'm going to tell you, do we implement technology or maybe not? That is not the real question. The real question is how are we going to harvest the power of technology to face the 21st century and make education more relevant and efficient. And technology has great potential for knowledge dissemination, right, uh, for things like educational services, but it will fail if your policies and strategies are not right. It will fail if the prerequisites for such tools to exist are not there. So it's a very sophisticated process. So how do we know it's successful? This signal will tell us it all. Right? Like for example, look at this projector here. I no longer wow at it or marvel at it, but instead I just focus on making my presentation using this. And the day you're doing that, in delivering your objective, that's the day you find that you have successfully integrated ICT. With this, I'd like to thank you and do enjoy the conference.